goodness. It's like late morning and I feel like I'm still asleep or something. Hey guys, today is another sewing adventure. Satin sewing adventure to be spe specific. I've been like itching to make a new, new thing. What I'm gonna be doing today is making a satin button up skirt my sister i probably will be able to make an like a matching top hopefully like this is all the fabric of the satin that i have because basically we went to joanne's and we found we went to the remnant section of course because i can't resist and since we're both like obsessed with satin right now we got this and she really loves pink too it's just something that she wanted she saw it like off of shein and then i was like oh my god like i could probably make that basically my plan is I, I made it into a little drawing if you can see that the hot pink set like if, if i'm able to have enough fabric then i want to make this top where it kind of mimics the wrap part like the wrap and the button like side definitely making a skirt today and it's so funny because i've noticed like the things that i draw i actually like end up making like you know like with the pink dress like it's basically like that and then the gold top turned out to be like this too. So I just feel like, sorry, oh my God, it's, it's like raining a lot. Can you hear that? I wonder if you can hear that. It just started raining a lot right now. Probably another reason why I'm tired. I definitely believe in the law of attraction. <laughs> Let's hope that it still happened. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, I should probably also show you the inspiration picture it's kind of like that and it's kind of like the satin satiny material too and we also went to the button section when we were at joanne's and we found these really cute buttons they're like kind of they kind of like have a flower detail in it and they like match perfectly with like the color and then we also found these small ones that's why i was like oh maybe i can also make a top and it would be cute to like have them literally be like matching buttons too. And so that definitely calls for doing something I've never done before, which is make buttons, or I mean like put in buttonholes. So I also watched, um, I think her YouTube channel is The Essentials Club DIY button up skirt. So I'm gonna be kind of following that. Definitely inspired by that or like definitely using her, her like methodology. Let's just go ahead and open this because I actually haven't opened this. It was even more discounted than, than the fi already 50% 50, 50 off. It was like discounted and then I got the extra 50% off of remnants. Oh my goodness. Wow. This would be really cute as a skirt too. Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, basically what she did was she measured her her like widest part and then you add like a few inches to that because we're gonna have the wrap detail and then we can then you do darts so that it fits your waist and then you can go ahead and do the rest so it kind of like seems like this will be easy I'm, I'm hoping that I can just do this all in one day I feel like it's pretty easy but who knows you know I do have to do I have to figure out how to do buttons and stuff but let's go I changed into um, this skirt because it's a little bit more form-fitting, obviously. I should probably look in the mirror for this, hold on. <laughs> it's 34 and a half, which she said was to make it like eight inches more than the measurement that you already have. Yeah, and do I want to cut this on the bias? Because if I don't, so if I actually want to stabilize it, I think in this case it would be fine to just cut it the, like the normal way, right? Because the I mean, the skirt is more structured. I'm just gonna, just gonna pretend that I don't know what bias cutting is. But if I'm doing, okay, so what was it? 34? It was 34 and a half or something? Wait, dang it, I forgot what I said. 34, right? And then I actually don't know how short she wants this to be either. Maybe I should just base it off of this, because this is like a mini skirt length. It's about 14 and a half. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do like, I think 16 or even 17 would be a generous amount to give myself just in case okay let's do this how do i cut this i might as well just cut maybe i should just cut all the way I'm like that looks straight that looks straight and then so now that we have that we can just leave this over here just for later this we need 42 
Okay, now we have a paper bag, and then this is where we have to figure out the dart situation. And so basically what we do is we have to like subtract the widest measurement from your waist measurement, and then that will be the amount that we have to take in. We have to make that into two darts, so then that will be 4.25, and then half of that, or I guess I don't have to like measure that. I'll just measure 4.25, I guess. How do you like it? <laughs> My foot is sleeping. Well, I'm just making it longer, you know, because I still have to hem it and stuff. Also, it'll probably be shorter than me. The buttons, they like go very well. <laughs> I think that'll work. Yeah, that's good. And then this shirt too. I think I'll have enough fabric. This is the other, the leftover. Oh, not that. <laughs> this is the leftover fabric. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of it. I like this fabric. I think it's gonna basically look something like that. I mean, she gave all these measurements and like calculations to figure out where to put your darts, and it'll be like kind of towards the back, which I feel like would look the best anyway. So I marked the midpoints. And then I marked where um, we would have to fold it so that they would meet like this. And then that would be the dart. And I don't think she really said how far down you're supposed to go. I guess that's kind of what it would look like. I don't know if that's too far in the front now. So what I decided was to not do what she was doing because I think she wanted the darts to be on the sides. I kind of feel like it's a, bit, it's a cuter look if the, if the darts are like in the back, so... I just kind of like eyeballed it. I think I'm gonna get out my sewing machine and then I guess we'll just start sewing this thing, you know? Changed out my thread for this like kind of brown, not super dark brown, because I feel like I don't want to go too dark and I don't want to go too light, so I think they will look good together as like a color combo, hopefully, maybe. I think it worked, right? I just sewed the um, the back darts and they look pretty good. I think it'll definitely make the butt look flattering. I mean, there is like some puckering and I don't know if that's because I made the stitch tension too tight, but maybe that's a look too, cause it's kind of like, kind of gives like the illusion that it's like ruched a little bit. Basically, I need to like finish off all these edges before I can do anything really. I'm thinking I might just roll. If I if I have enough fabric, I'll roll it. Right now, I'm just going to kind of see where I can like see how much I have to hem each part. So I'm going to try to just do like a rolled hem so that I don't have to worry about like anything fraying or anything. But now I'm realizing that technically we're going to be able to see the stitching on the outside. And I'm not sure if that's exactly the style that she wanted, but they probably have a lining and then they, you know, like flipped it inside out and stuff. But maybe it will look good, I'm hoping. I'm just gonna stick to what I, my plan is. It's kind of weird because I think maybe because I'm like working with the very edge of the fabric roll, but it kind of like knotted when it was trying to sew i don't know do you see that like it it like knotted right there and then it pulled a little bit up here but i think it looks good honestly this will be the inside where the buttons are attached anyway so i think i'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side okay so finished off the waistband and i actually not like a waistband but just like you know the hem for the waist i think it's looking pretty good and i've actually found out that as i was doing it like measuring over um this skirt the regular hems that i did would make it a little bit too far away from where i want the buttons to be like the buttons should be right here because so i think i'm going to have to hem this again a little bit so that it fits a little better but yeah so far this is what it kind of looks like definitely like the back darts i think the maybe the problem was i didn't take in enough i'm hoping that this skirt is not too tight when you're sitting down sitting down might be a problem okay i think i just need to make sure i hem it exactly like this the best part okay i'll just I'll pin this and i will get to work on that Okay guys, so I think I'm done. Not done, but 
I think so I just I just changed into some shorts this is what it looks like I make sure that it looks nice I think the back looks amazing the front will probably be something like this not as open obviously basically I'm not gonna go buy the the picture because I think the picture has the buttonholes going this way but I'm gonna actually do them like vertically if I were to have like measured without this that skirt on I think I would have gotten a better measurement so that I could make the darts a little bit um, a little bit bigger so that I wouldn't have as much of a problem right now but obviously I can't go back because now I have it all sewn in yeah I think I will now go figure out how to use a buttonhole foot and all that stuff okay guys so I'm back from a little break yeah I ate some lunch because I tend to just forget about eating when I'm doing projects so that, and that's probably not good so and now I came back and tried to figure out the whole buttonhole um, foot and stitching as you can see I tried it on just like a scrap fabric and I don't know if it's just because it's too thick of a fabric or because this is too slippy of a fabric like it does one side and then it but then it doesn't go back like it's really also hard to get underneath the that foot you see this it kind of like messes with the fabric like it since they they both have like teeth it messes up the satininess of it I even tried to do it with a, another like scrap fabric that's not slippy and it still wouldn't go back so I think basically like what I think I'm gonna try to do is do it by hand not by hand by hand but like I think I could technically do that too but I'm pretty sure in her video she I think she says how you can do a buttonhole without using the, the foot <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just watched her video. Her, I'm definitely going to follow what she did because it's very method, me methodical or whatever. You know, I put it back on basically and then I marked with pins. You could just watch her video. I'll have it in, in the description too if you really want to know how, like in detail because she's very detailed. But basically you just like pin where you where you want like the front part to line up with the back the back portion and you just pin on along the side the skirt looks like down here the pins are like up here so then i know exactly where to lay it kind of but yeah so then this is also where the last button is gonna be and so i just i'm just making it kind of equal distance and then we're supposed to mark it and that's where i put the button holes i also don't know how to mark it do i just use pen again like last time so then she just marks the top and the bottom. And then basically she says to just use zigzag stitch and make, you know, all the, do all the edges and stuff. So I think I'm gonna do that off camera because also my battery is dying, of course. I'm also sewing, hand sewing the buttons. Hopefully, oh, I also have to hem the bottom too. But then after that, I think it'll be done. And then we can work on the shirt. Okay guys, a little while later, I don't really actually remember when I last filmed, but I am done with the skirt. That was kind of quick. Yeah, so basically what you didn't see was me doing the buttonholes and they don't, they're obviously not really like good or professional looking but they do they do work you can't really see it anyways when it's buttoned you know so it does hide a little bit of what it looks like and then i sewed the buttons on by hand i'm hoping that they stay pretty secure even though there's only like it's like like the two hole buttons you know so hopefully it'll stay secure and then i hem the bottom so obviously my shorts are like the same length so there you go and then my sister also tried it on really quick before i hem the bottom and it fits her too so yeah it's really cute maybe i'll wear it too but honestly i don't wear these colors but yes it looks it's so cool it actually like looks exactly the way that i wanted it to look like i'm so proud like <laughs> You don't know how proud I am. It didn't take as long as I thought, but 
The thing is, if I want to make this a two-piece, I have to make a shirt. That's what qualifies it as a two-piece. Um, so, 